Hey everybody, this is reflex angles. I have a whole separate lesson on reflex angles because I think they're a little bit tough to understand. A reflex angle is the largest angle we can have. It's greater than 180, but less than 360. And we talked about in some other lessons, 360 degrees is when we spin all the way around in a circle. It's a complete circle. So this is a massive angle. The problem that we have, and I point out to the boys and girls, and I say, well, what does our protractor go up to? Well, it only goes up to 180. So how do we measure an angle that is bigger than 180 degrees with a tool that only goes up to 180 degrees? How do we do that? Well, we're going to kind of do it in reverse, and I'm going to show you how this works here. Okay? So if I have an angle, I have a reflex angle, and let's say a reflex angle, the appearance of a reflex angle is actually a lot like an acute angle. So let me draw myself an acute angle here. The only difference between that reflex angle and the acute angle is instead of doing this inside blue line, I'm measuring the outside. I don't want to know how wide this is. I want to know how wide this is all the way around if I swung that all the way around here. Okay? Well, we're going to use what we know about circles to complete this. We know that if we go all the way around, if I could add this red line with this blue line, it should add up to 360 degrees. Okay? So maybe I can't measure this big red part with my protractor. My protractor is not going to bend around like that. But if I can measure this little piece here, and then remove it, whatever's left over is going to be my angle. Let me show you how this works. So we're going to line that up, our center point and our vertex. We're going to line up that baseline, and now we're going to look and see how wide this thing ends up being here. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 35, 36. This looks like our blue piece here on the inside. This is a 37 degree angle. Okay, so 37 plus something else, this red piece, is going to add up to 360 degrees. And we learned if we want to find out the answer to this, this plus this gives us this. Let's work in the other direction. Let's subtract. We'll go backwards here. So I'm going to do 360 degrees minus 37. And if I do this correctly, that should tell me this other piece here. So let's see. We're going to need to borrow. 5 minus 3 is 2. Bring down my 3. So this red angle, this red reflex angle, should be a 323 degree angle. And to double check that, remember what we said. If we add these two pieces together, that's a complete circle. That should add up to 360. So let's do that real quick. 323 plus 37. 0 down, carry the 1. 5, 6, 360. So this reflex angle is 323 degrees. So that's what we do if they give us the angle right there. They give us the angle. Now, what if I want you to create one on your own? We're not measuring. We're drawing these angles. We're still going to use that trick with the 360. We need to remember that number in our head that's going to be important anytime we do a reflex angle. So let's say I tell the kids, we're going to draw a reflex angle. We're going to draw an angle that is bigger than 180 degrees. So let's say I tell the kids, we're going to draw a 220 degree angle. And once again, we say, well, that's going to be tough because our tool only goes up to 180 degrees. How are we going to use a 180 degree tool to draw something that's 220 degrees? Well, we're going to use that same concept we used before. I can't draw a 220 degree angle but I can draw that opposite part of the angle. Let's try this. 360 minus 220. Let's figure out what that opposite side is. That acute angle would be. 0, 4, 3 minus 2 is 1. This is going to be 140. That's actually not going to be an acute angle. That's going to be an obtuse angle, but that's okay. You'll see when we draw this. So let's draw this 140 degree angle, and we'll see how this works out. When we draw angles, we create our baseline. 
and let's give our point that's eventually going to turn into our vertex. Okay. Let's move our protractor into position. Remember, 140 is an obtuse angle, so we're looking to see an obtuse angle in our mind. That's what I should see on my smart board here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 140 is way out here. So that's the 140 out here. When I pull this protractor away, let me see what's going to happen here. Is that going to look like an obtuse angle? Yeah, it's going to lean wide open. So let me use my straight edge to connect that. And right inside here, we've created a 140 degree angle. But that wasn't what we wanted to create. We wanted to create a 220 degree angle. Well, that's just going to be the other side of my angle. If I wrap this around, my red line is going to be 220 degrees. And we said both sides of, these, of this angle, because we're making a circle here, should add up to 360 degrees, because that's spinning all the way around. Well, let's add them together. created a reflex angle of 220 degrees. So you can see reflex angles can be a little bit tricky because we've got a little bit of computational math that we have to do. We actually have to work some numbers out. We're not just laying it down and writing down a number. We've got to think a little bit deeper with reflex angles.